right, I'm in my greenhouse. This is Brent Central Arkansas, by the way. And uh, just got back from Phoenix. We went to the Renaissance Fair out there. If you do have an interest in my traveling stuff, I have a traveling channel. You'll see it on the uh, links part of the picture on my YouTube channel. And uh, I'll post that video of the Renaissance Fair if you're interested. But anyway, we were gone for 10 days. And uh, I came back. Everything's on automatic, so it's all still alive. I'll give you a quick pan. Uh, but some things did get out of control. Uh, I don't think it's unmanageable at this point, but let me take you in and show you some of this. Okay, over here on this tomato, you can see little white specks and some shininess. You see those? Well, they're actually all over the bottom. You see all those? Those are uh, aphids not aphids, um, white flies, shoot. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's what that is. So they're all over this plant and they've got the sticky secretion going on and uh, they're just all over the place. There's too many of them. Now when I was here, I could spray every few days a little bit and it would knock them way back. Uh, let's see what else is going on. Over here, this is uh, one of my squashes. You can see powdery mildew on it here. And you can see some on over here. Uh, we've got more situations with aphids over here going on. Um, not aphids, I keep saying aphids, white flies. Same going on over there. And uh, some of the, you know, it's grown, overgrown. I need to wrap some and stuff like that. But mostly what we've got is powdery mildew and some bug issues. And I'm going to test the antifungal uh, strength that I've been using on this grow right now. I'm going to see if it'll get rid of the powdery mildew and, the, and knock the bugs back. Probably won't get rid of them completely, but I'm going to try to knock them back big time and see if we can get this under control. Also on the potatoes here growing, you can see here too the shininess of some of that stuff. And they're in there too. So... I need to really get after it and uh, see if we can get rid of these things. Okay, this is the very next day. And I want to show you some of this here. You can see on this leaf, see all the little white spots? They're not moving because they're not alive. So that's a good thing. And uh, there are some, but the amounts are nowhere near what they were. I mean, nowhere near what they were. And this, I got on the leaves and underneath the leaves. I mean, these were absolutely everywhere, underneath leaves and everything. And um, they're so, they're not gone by any means, but they are nearly wiped out from the first spray. And I'm going to pan here. I'm going to show you. Uh, this was the super infected squash leaf that you saw that was so white you can see that most of that's gone um, gonna give it a second spray today um, I think it'll about wipe it out completely and the spray this is the same formula that I use for the microgreens I'm really surprised that it does this fantastic of a job against aphids and powdery mildew with how weak it is and uh and with only one stinking spray it's amazing look at all the dead what i what i did do besides spray the pant plants and whatnot i shook them like this and while they were flying through the air and i mean there were tons of them i sprayed while they were flying through the air as well and anytime it makes contact it uh pretty much kills them off I don't know what part of the spray does what, but I can tell you this stuff works fantastic. Um, this is that seed squash you've seen, Madison's Choice, and um, I'm trying to get it just to survive so it can mature the seed in this squash. But this, uh, don't confuse this with powdery mildew. The LED lights are doing something to the leaves on this plant, and you can see even the stems are really kind of a ghostly color. And, um, you know, it's probably not ideal to grow um, squash in such a way. I, I don't know that it hurts it, but it's just doing some kind of a weird thing to it. But it did have some powdery mildew on it in different areas. 
and uh, it's I mean it's about gone you can see dead white flies all over the plants so I'm gonna hit them again but I think there's enough evidence here uh, to say that when I came back I had powdery mildew issues pretty good bit of powdery mildew issues I had white flies out the yin-yang and uh, this stuff absolutely knocked it back big time after one spray and I'm really really pleased with that I'm gonna hit it again today and uh, then you know just kind of hit it as it comes up because I know it'll take care of it this is Brent you guys we will see you later just a little update on what I found pretty amazing with the antifungal spray